Hey there, friend, and welcome back. I am your friendly neighborhood quantum rebel, Sarah Rusk, and today we're going to talk about something a little bit exciting about your meditations, a little bit of an extra flair, so to speak. So it has to do with crystallizing your intention when you meditate. So it's one thing to sit, meditate, open your heart, feel all the feels, and have that amazing magnetic field around your body with your eyes closed in this little space. It is another thing to get up and live <laughs> in your everyday environment with distractions and things going on. So I have been listening to quite a few uh, Gaia episodes. I don't quite remember from who, but there's just been a couple interspersed. And one of the things that they always say to crystallize what it is that you're meditating on is to get up and do a physical action kind of taking steps towards what it is that you want to manifest. So a great example of this was, uh, this was the beginning of last year. I was going to a horse show with Abigail and I wanted first place. I, it was our second show together. We did okay the last time. We won fourth place a year ago in something. It was our first show ever and I was super proud of her. So I sat and I did tuning into new potentials and I did the potential of us getting first place in this horse show. We've been practicing enough. I figured we were pretty deserving of getting first place. And I sat, I did the meditation. I, you know, I felt all the feels. It felt really good. Actually, this was before I knew what the feels actually were because this was a year before I did the uh, Marco Island retreat. So I didn't really know what I was looking for. I just sat, did the meditation. And as soon as I got up, I had the idea to do an act of faith, I guess you could say, to really crystallize and solidify the meditation that I just did. And how I did that was I had a little spot on my wall where I had my first ribbon and like some other like weird things that were there, like other ribbons that like I won with Braveheart. And what I did was I moved it over and I made space for my first place ribbon. I went to the show the next day and we wound up coming in first in the one class and second in the other. And I made space for two ribbons, which is kind of funny. So that's what I'm talking about by an act of faith. When I, I didn't do meditations on this, I was just kind of going about when I wanted to manifest my Honda Civic that I have. I would pretend that I was driving it. You know, I'd hold the steering wheel of my little Prius, my little green Prius. I'd hold the, my steering wheel pretending it was a Civic, even though I've never been in a Civic hatchback before, never driven one. When I would take my, because I would go to the barn, I would take my boots off and switch my shoes so I wouldn't get my new car dirty. And I started doing things like that and I would pretend that I would see that car in the driveway. And it was through doing those acts that I then made this car appear in a parking lot. So friend, think about it. If it's, you know, I do this with money all the time. I'll do like synchronizing my energy to abundance. And sometimes it's around buying something. I did it when I bought the ticket for Tennessee, which I was supposed to leave today for Tennessee. Alas, I'm here. I did not go specifically because I couldn't leave Charlie behind while he's doing really good. We went for our first walk together outside. The vet said that he's doing really, really, really well. If something were to have happened while I was not here, I could never forgive myself. So I was able to make it work and I've just decided that I was not able to go. Clearly I just wasn't meant to go and that's totally fine. I got to go riding with Julie tonight anyway, which was a lot of fun. It was our first time riding together. Also, fun thing, I want to quickly throw in here a weird segue about timing and when you're meant to meet people in divine timing. Me and her went to the same college at the same exact time and never met. Granted, like, the college was, it was a decent size, but we probably had general classes together. And, you know, talk about when you're meant to meet somebody. Blows my mind. Anyway, <laughs> but when I went to go buy the event ticket for Tennessee, I did tuning into abundance and then got up and paid for it because that was my act of faith of I trust that this money will come back to me in some way. And quite literally it did. <laughs> what can you do, friend, as an act of faith to say, hey, this is how 
this is me saying that I trust in this work. I trust that my meditations are working and I trust that everything is going to work out for me. Think about ways in which you can do it. Play with it a little bit. It's something that I don't think it's talked about enough. Like we know about manifesting, like yes, get up and live and do your life. But like, what steps can you take right now to, you know, solidify what it is that you are trying to manifest? So do your meditations and then get up and do something that is in accordance to what it is that you're trying to manifest. Friend, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you want some extra magic in your day, please hit that subscribe button. If you would not mind, down that way, there's a little unicorn there for some extra magic for you. If you wish to support this little channel in some way, please head on over to ko-fi.com slash heytherfriend. Anything and everything is greatly appreciated. You have no idea. And with that, just promise me you'll keep singing. Okay, friend?